welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. I'm now joined here by Dr. Jenfan Musweri. I hope I got that pronunciation right. Your Deputy Minister of Information, Communication, Technology and Courier Services. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Tell me, what is the meaning of AI in terms of policy in Zimbabwe? Uh, with respect to Zimbabwe, the explicit goals for ICT is with respect to the growth of the industry, number one. Number two is to ensure that uh, we utilize ICT technologies for the transformation of our economic policies. And we also explicitly ensure that uh, we use the, we take into consideration and we harness innovation. And we also take into consideration the inclusiveness. How do we use uh, technology to bridge the raw urban divide? You gave a speech yesterday to the people at the various seminars here and about the advantages of AI. Tell me what they are. The advantages of AI include the productivity, increased production, efficiency, effectiveness, transparency, and so forth. And how do you see AI technology affecting developing countries when we're talking about the UN's 17 you know, Sustainable Development Goals? Artificial intelligence will also assist you with regards to the fulfillment of a number of sustainable development goals, such as poverty, hunger, clean water, disaster management, industrialization, innovation, infrastructure, and so forth. And uh, as you spend some time here talking to other delegates and um, after your speech, you come from a long way, from Harare. What, what's your feelings, the outcome? Uh, the summit provides an opportunity for developing and de in developed countries to share one platform, to share experiences, uh, to share knowledge, it also gives an opportunity to developing countries like Zimbabwe uh, to harness investors, to harness high-tech companies to bring investment to countries like Zimbabwe, because Zimbabwe is open for business. Right, because we spoke to a couple of other people about AI in Africa, and they say that the crucial things, Africa must not be left behind on AI and must actually be a, a key player in all this. They mentioned South Africa, they mentioned Nigeria, Ethiopia. Zimbabwe as well could be a key player in AI data gathering? Yes. Zimbabwe is a, will probably be one of the ICT hubs in Africa and the leading ICT country with respect to technology, with respect to connectivity, with respect to infrastructure and so forth. Okay. And when will that happen? Will, uh, uh, we have the vision 2030. And we are trying to ensure that by 2030, we have a middle-income economy. OK, interesting. Well, that was uh, the Min Deputy Minister for Communications and Courier Services from Zimbabwe, Dr. Miswari. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.